Hey everybody, welcome back. Northern Lions pogging out of his mind in Monster Train. Two random wins in a row. <laughs> we do have Covenant rank 15 now. It's getting it's getting harder. You wouldn't know it from how much we're winning though. This is a spicy one. Umbra melting. So we get drafts. You're a, you're our sap unit or sap boss, which is hard to deal with, but we got we don't have that many multi-strike units, just the draft. And our champion, we have to think about how we like the Umber champion. I think I like the 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 trample champion. The, when the champion is trampling, it's all over. Um, but let's see, we, ha we have to have it as an option first. Um, so we do get one extra shade splitter, which is bad news. Uh, and we already had one extra drag, I think, which is also not great. We have no cards with Consume, yet. I think we'd be better off trying to remove enemies' buffs. Although, they, they both have their own benefits, for sure. It's not the one I wanted. Um, but let's go with, uh... Because Umbra's primary, I feel a little bit more confident in our Gorge ability right now. Let's see how this goes. Enemy units enter with Spikes 3. We may purge that buff. I mean, we should purge that buff on 50% of the enemies to begin with. Um, you love to see it. Um, but then we do have to figure out still how we want this to go. Because we would like to live. Oh, we purged the rage on them too, which is pretty sick. So here, I... I why fight them on the first floor? I think fighting them on the second floor makes more sense because we never have to deal with the rage. Um, third floor, I don't think we're giving ourselves enough time. Uh, that's all I'll say about that. So let's get you out here. You're going to give me energy. Because you benefit from the gorge, I'm just going to put our train steward up here. And we, we can't put him down here anyway if we're going to put a, a... You know what I mean. If we're going to put a, a morsel down here. So we might as well put him up here, but it also protects against like the, the gold imp coming next floor and, and maybe... Saucing us up a little bit. Yo, we got three of five on that one, so that that worked perfectly. Um, I'll tell you. Does three X damage to an enemy unit. So we will get our money back. Just have to think about how we want to do this first. Um, well, we, you know what? We want to cast this for one. Or... A minimum of one. If we have if we have to cast it for two, it's okay. We still break even. Now that I think about it, we don't actually get any energy out of it. We just like the fact that it's uh that it's gonna uh kill an enemy for us and slow them down a little bit. Um so we'd like to kill two on this floor. You do a good job of killing two. And then let's slow these guys down on the next floor by icing one of you. Um and where does a dreg go? Not much point in summoning it just to be killed, so I think you don't summon it at all yet. This is working out according to plan, as we speak. Lifesteal is always going to be helpful. You're stopping them. Two enemies are dying. We're going to kill two on the next floor as well, so we're not sweating that. Um, with Burnout 2, I think we just cast you. You're really just here to slow some enemies down, though. Could, it didn't really matter who we killed, I think. As long as we killed one that had spikes. We removed none of the debuffs. That hurts. So we're doing nothing, quite frankly. We're doing nothing on this floor. However, our champion has lifesteal. They're going to get a double gorge trigger here. Um, can we fit a train... We can't even fit a train steward anywhere. So you're getting hit, hit, hit. Maybe? There you go. We're, we're killing one enemy. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> we got him. We do want units on our next floor to go in front of our... Uh, or maybe behind our champion now that I think about it. So let me just think about this for a second. Um, with Burnout 1, we want you to live to hit. You got the kill off of that? Are you insane? Ooh, he on X Games mode. Look at that. Who would have thought? Alright, that was really easy, actually. We need units. Our, our units are not great right now. And our champion does not scale. I mean, let's be honest. You'd ra would you rather have a 
this champion or would you rather have a 60-60 Burnout 3 champion? I would rather have a 60-60 Burnout 3 champion myself. Um, so the Morsel Miner, I think I underrate it historically. Is is pretty good. Plus 5, plus 5, and a Gorge trigger. It's real nice. I think it, combined with our um, Mine Collapse, I think that's that's kind of what we're looking for. Um, we can't bring units back from the dead yet, so ooh, you're gonna you're gonna be upset. I think we take nothing on that one. But unit is of the utmost importance, particularly an Umbra unit would be nice. So I'm gonna I'm gonna come over here. Any kind of gorge heavy unit. So the Shadow Eater um, seems really good on the bottom floor to get heavy gorges and kill support units and healers before they can make it up. Let's try that for now. It's a spicy situation, like, the large stone I really like. <laughs> like, a draft becoming unbelievably strong and yet only being two spaces is pretty good. But it has a bit of a burnout issue, I'm not sure if you've noticed. Uh, but I'm gonna try it, because I think it'll be funny. So let's make you as strong as possible, and then... <laughs> Again, you may be upset, but I'm telling you. Actually, you know what? I think we, uh... I think we have a, a staggering amount of stuff to cut. Right now, I would say our dregs are actually worse than our train stewards. And it, it takes a lot for me to admit that. I want, I want dregs and train stewards both gone, though. And I want shade splitters gone. So, we got, like, uh... It's a dangerous time. I am going to give non-boss units plus four. Plus four doesn't really move the needle for me. I'm not too concerned about that. Plus four attack. Okay, so we ideally we'd like a Shadow Eater on the bottom. Um, the, the problem is you want it to gorge, but we're not going to get there. So instead, we'll take the kill. And uh, I think you want... You can, you can handle it up there. And then two train stewards at the top. We're going to get the gold. Wherever the gold comes, we're getting the gold. All right, good stuff. So we do get a Shade Splitter. With no direct damage. I think this is nice to make sure you die and you'll heal a little bit off of it. Um, I think that's your turn. Yeah, that's your turn. I really don't think we need more Morsel Generators necessarily. I think we just drew them all, as you can see here, at essentially the same time. Um... We have created a bit of a situation for our uh, for our champion. Uh, he will not be able to gorge because we got no capacity behind him. But our Shadow Eater is at least going to heal, and we'll get the extra energy out of that. Um, I think we actually feast up here, weirdly enough, and then cast our Dreg so we can do more damage to you next turn. It's all about spotting these like upstream problems. I guess it's downstream. I always get my streams confused. So it's important, for sure, uh, that you eat to kill these two units. Although, summoning you would also be sick. But I think we can also do that next time. Um, so you'll eat and kill these two guys, which is all I could really ask of you. And then any extra damage you can put at the, at the top there is acceptable. Um, you guys are not doing great, actually. You're going to get to hit our pyre once. I don't really want to put a train steward here. I think our champion benefits from gorging. We just haven't been able to make that a reality yet. Um, I'm realizing, I think the ideal situation we're looking for is to pair a shadow gorger or whatever the heck his name was with uh, a morsel maker so that they can actually complement themselves during that, uh, during those relentless periods. So I think we need this out here to at least up the damage. And then we can... <laughs> it's not great. I think we're gonna live, but it's gonna be dangerous. You're only taking 10, which is obviously really bad. Um, but I think by just summoning as many units to take a hit as we can... Why are you only taking 20 on that one? 
Oh, because one of you is getting... Actually, both of you are getting gorged. So this doesn't make any... Yeah, okay, I understand. So we we can't put a train steward there anyway, but... So this doesn't change anything. You're going to have 60. We're going to live. But that was really close. And it, I'm telling you straight up, this is not that bad. We just need units. Units are like the, the number one thing we need right now. I will take a space prism. I do think it's very good. And I... I this is great, but I think Molded is a little bit better at keeping our draft chunking around. I definitely don't need another Shadow Eater. Um, I will say, I think you could... Oh, but no, it's Rage 2. I don't want Rage 2. I want the unit that gives Burnout when it gets hit. Um, I know I just said we need units. I'm just not sure if these are the ones we need. And I, I hate to say it. But Rage 2 on our Burnout Draft is also going to be freaking sick, dude. I don't know. We're going we're gonna to trust in the game's mechanics right now. Um, it's very dangerous. Um, I think we kind of need to heal. As much as it pains me, because getting another unit is also very relevant. Um... I definitely think Endless on our draft is is really good. Um, I, I think this is your play. Multi-Strike, don't get me wrong, is amazing. We're so far away. Well, with Mind Collapse, we might not be that far away from casting it, but we're still pretty far away from casting it. So, Morsel Miner being one makes it a strictly, substantially better Shade Splitter. So, I like that a lot. Um... The reroll is a little expensive. This doesn't change anything for us. I hate spending that gold on nothing, but it is what it is. So now our burnout units have a little bit more use, so I think we will cut a train steward. I don't know if we'll live through this. I would say I'm pessimistic right now, but, but if we get the ideal floor, we can make it happen. And our, our draft is now, like, our most powerful unit. <laughs> I never thought I'd see the day. So, okay, hear me out here. Shadow Eater comes out. He's getting bodied. But then Shade Splitter comes out. All of a sudden, he's killing everything on this floor, except for you, who still explodes first. Yeah. People keep telling me that they explode in combat order. This isn't true, because on your turn... Well, maybe it is true, actually. But you don't... You attack before the gorge trigger happens. Okay, that makes sense. So we're still getting hit by everything. And we want you... Why don't we put you up here to give you more time? Because your lifesteal being used against the boss is more valuable than your lifesteal being used against, you know, little baby enemies. Um... Just, just chunking this one through in the old... The old brain. I really think, bizarrely, we put Paraffin Enforcer up here. Then we put Train Steward up just so that it takes the hit for the Paraffin Enforcer. And we really just want our draft next turn. And we got it. It will only live for a turn. But then we're... Oh, we have Drawn Molded, so it's going to take a bit. It is what it is. Like, you kind of just have to deal with it. <laughs> We're using a lifesteal trigger on this one. I still like it. So you're dying. You, well, it'll take us a bit to get you to come back, but once we get you, we got you. Permafrost on our endless would be pretty nice. I don't know. This time, I'm like, the gorging is fine, but giving our champion one more lifesteal seems, seems more precious to me. And we're not... Oh, you know what? We will slay something. Um... Why not? So we get super rage on our... Uh, on this guy. Now he's an 11 damage unit. Um, but we gotta still think about how we want to do this. Definitely we like this. Which makes it so you're all dying. Um, but do we give him the morsel maker as, or more making of a morsel to keep him alive? No, uh, yeah, I actually think we do. 
not keep him alive, but make him stronger. He'll he'll get the the ability to actually hit enemies now, which is kind of incredible. Uh, and I wish we could play that this turn, but we really just can't justify it. We'll just we'll just get in front of you a little bit here. Um, I think having this unit actually deal some direct damage is not the kiss of death. Very weird turn. Um, you're gonna make it, but let's put you up here. You'll tank a hit for us and also make it so that... Uh, oh, you're only gonna take one hit, or you're only gonna do one damage on the pyre. I don't know what we'll do, but this is okay. We'll just get you. It's very clear to me this, this run has not come together yet, but that's okay. And now th this is kind of the dream scenario. We bring back the killer draft, which is you. And now, on top of everything else, you also have Endless. Now, I can't get a gorge happening here. That, to be quite frank with you, does to, or to be yeah, quite frank with you, doesn't bother me at all. Because now we have this unbelievable unit that we're going to draw every single turn. You're taking 187 damage. We're not going to have space for him on the next floor. That's that's a kick in the teeth, but you're dying. It would be nice if we could get our uh, <laughs> if we could get our champion or our, our train steward to die. 210. That's pretty good. Our our champion does have some sustain. Might as well play one more of these. You're only taking 210 because of the burnout. That's right. We should live. We're gonna die. Um, that's a bummer. Maybe we're not gonna die. We're not gonna die. See, I told you. It's easy. Um, <laughs> capacity was a real concern. Capacity was a problem there. Um, I do see the value of Trample, but I actually think Wretch is more useful for us because we've really suffered. Uh, and don't get me wrong, I get this as well. I just think that X cards without the relic that makes X cards all automatically do plus three is not that good for us. Um, Wretch, we, we do suffer from our ability to produce good morsels as quickly as possible. Burnout units get uh, more burnout when this unit gets hit. This now, our draft should live. They should live. <laughs> And all of a sudden, I'm looking at it, and I'm like, maybe we're okay. Maybe we're okay. So let's let's put this to the test. We are going to take our Pyre health. I hope this is the last time we need to prioritize it. Tomb units get plus 30. We have, like, we have no tomb units, I believe. Um, in which case, we will just deal two damage to enemies that move between floors, which I'll admit does not really seem that relevant. Um, so you get super strong on Gorges, but I think that maybe giving you extra capacity, which also gives you five more damage, is the play. I'm really getting into the idea of, like, mixing and matching the, the superlatives here, which we have not done before. Let's turn this off and try to get... Let's try to get some oxygen. You know, we've been kind of redlining the whole time. So, we love you here, and you here, and we got a great burnout floor to put our large stone draft the end on this one then you are going to get the morsel maker which also does or morsel miner which does so well with um wretch because we bring the great morsels that we've already used back from the dead all right so our draft now comes out on this floor and all of a sudden we've got an incredible setup our shadow eater still goes on the bottom and now we can't uh, afford to really do much of anything at all, really. Um, I don't think you play the drag. I, I do wish I'd found a way to... We should have played Mind Collapse for two on the healer. Although, now that I think about it, Mind Collapse doesn't really matter because... The healer living doesn't matter at present because we're doing no damage, but... I don't... You might wonder why not play the drag. I kind of don't want to play the drag because I worry about... Um, uh our capacity, which has been a problem historically, but 
you know, maybe that'll change. So we love you getting the getting stacked up here. You're crushing it on this floor, and you taking damage is amazing because of the fact that uh, it, it gives us more burnout than we're losing per turn. So we're actually getting, like, disproportionately much stronger. And now, I don't really care about the lifesteal, but, you know, the AoE damage we're doing on this floor is, is meaningful now. So the worst thing for us is actually a brief respite. <laughs> That's where things actually get dangerous. So I now think we, we work things over. I think that you make um, Remnant Pact uh, the Endless. I think you apply that on this unit so that you can keep this beautiful floor going here. And uh, if we're only having one Gorger, I still think for now it makes the most sense to put them down here on the bottom. Uh, we're not getting anybody with Mind Collapse. Maybe we're okay with this drag taking two hits, just to just to relax, you know, just to keep our Shadow Eater alive as long as possible. So there's our brief respite, but you got four burnout, you're gonna make it. Um, we'd actually love you to have more capacity. But then I'm trying to think, are we trying to keep our Lady alive, or are we trying to put this draft back there so they get even stronger? We do have Endless on her, so we could bring her back. She dies in two hits. I think you let her take the two hits. And you put the draft back here, which now will have it going a little bit stronger. Oh my word. Um, and I think we'll bring back a Morsel Miner. And just continue to make our, our champ stronger. I don't expect it to matter, but you never know, I suppose. And honestly, we now have enough space, I think, to get you out there. All right, so you have to go here. The draft at the back is burning out. Whatever. What are you going to do? Now, this unit, I, I will admit, this floor at present does nothing. It, it essentially has no purpose. I don't know. I think we want to leave our top open a little bit. Um, we, we really need a morsel maker <laughs> in order to make this bottom floor work against the bosses. But we're still, our middle floor is just doing an unbelievable amount of work here. So let's just, uh, I mean, it's over. So that was a much more reassuring fight than, than any of the ones we've had before. Um, consume, apply Rage 4, apply Multi-Strike 1, apply Ember Drain 4. So you're just making one really strong morsel. Sack a unit... Add three random, uncommon, or rare morsel units to your hand. Cave in. I, I understand. It's just, I, I think I like our floor setup right now, to be honest. Um, I do think this could be a fatal melting situation, but I don't think we lose that many units. I really think that this ends up being a little bit underpowered right now, and people are going to lose their minds when I say that. Um... But I really don't think we lose enough units. We, we're not gorging 10 times a turn. Now, do you need to gorge 10 times a turn to make it worthwhile? No, but... Sh shut up. Um, okay. So let's let's remove first. Dregs are a little bit more useful now. Um, train stewards are garbage. Permafrost is pretty important, actually, now. I think you like Permafrost on Remnant Pact to make sure you can hit the right unit. We don't really need to make anything cheaper. We don't want to make those consume. So let's spend on the reroll first. Remove consume and get more expensive. I think we get more out of Space Prism than we do out of Remnant Pact, but I could be wrong. That, that could be a big whiff there. But either way, our deck, it might not have gotten as better as it could get, but it's getting better. So we probably want to make something uh, cheaper. Sure, why not? That, that's not, it's not like it's going to get any stronger. We might as well make it cost zero again. Um, so I'm not as optimistic as our last run, but I'm starting to get there for sure. I definitely do not think we can, I, I think we have to work enemies down. I, I can't stress enough. Our Shadow Gorger needs some help. <laughs> this is a actually a really, really surprisingly good situation for it. 
How, how can we say no to killing all of the enemies, you know? Even though we don't get the Lady of the Reformed out there yet, I'm just... I guess I'm just hoping that that's not going to screw us too much. So we know we like you up here. Um, we then cast... You don't have an Encant. That's a, that's a Harvest. Okay. Um, this will kill one unit, which will hit the Harvest trigger. You're already dying. What am I thinking here? Good point. Good point. Good point. Good point. Good point. Do we need any... Well, we get two energy back for one. We might as well still do it. Now you're getting you're getting heavy harvest triggers here. So you know what? Our top one is going to go here. I I regret we should have only casted one on the bottom floor. These are the kind of things that can be relevant, but I hope they're not. We still have not seen our super draft. Generally speaking, we want you to get the morsel miner. You can take energy. You should take Lifesteal, and you can take extra HP. We got problems. Like, this is a little... Right, let's not say a little. It's substantially slower than I would like it to be. Let's have you get even stronger off the gorge. And then Mind Collapse for 9 damage. I think we'll just use it on you. We don't need the energy back. Um, but we, we do have this one huge unit up at the top. <laughs> I don't know how we're gonna I don't know how we're gonna get one over on that guy. Um, that's that's the issue that I see right now. I'm starting to think we should have summoned the lady on turn one. We can get away with this. Actually, now that I think about it, like what's coming around here? Apply endless to a unit. It's a bit weird. We, we really do need more energy here as well. You're taking- you're getting stronger? I don't believe it. Oh, cause they get dazed on the top floor! <laughs> it's cause they get dazed on the top floor. Okay. You see, you're gonna hold permafrost. This top floor is in a very weird position. I think we might lose on this one right here. I don't think we mind you coming out and you coming out just to maximize the damage done. You are a sweeping unit, which is... Okay, this... Finally, we got something. You have to come out. You're not getting the kill here. Which does 6 damage to our Pyre, which may seem like it's not that big of a deal, but is kind of that big of a deal. Just work with me here. It's gonna seem weird. Okay. Now at least we've, we've done something. I still think we want you to be endless, but... I would have preferred if all this stuff got out there as fast as possible. This is an extreme molded situation where you need this out here. Okay, your sweep is going to be really bad. But perhaps not so bad. We are at least getting 400 damage out on you. And then I'm just going to be straight up. Our top floor is going to become quite, uh, quite potent here. So we want you to have more HP. Want you to have more HP. Might as well get some energy. And then we have space at the front. To at least... Oh, but we... No, no, no. You have sweep. But we... I mean... In, in that case, it doesn't matter. In that case, literally your best play, as much as it sounds insane, is just to do that. All right. Our champion should be able to... Yeah, he's, he's doing enough. Sweep kind of hard counters this build, so as bad as this might have looked, I think it was. I think it went okay. We did lose 30 damage, which is again a lot. We don't need this anymore. We have we have something even a little bit better. Um, 
Don't get me wrong, wrong. Subsuming Blade was good, but I think it's a little bit too late. We don't really want two drafts, nor do we really need a tank. We need a Morsel Maker for our Shadow Eater. And units are not coming as quickly as they used to. Um, give me the Pyre Health, because we're barely staying alive. And then I'm like, is there a good lar- Dude, I'm like, yeah, sure. The other draft getting even stronger is actually totally fine. And you know what? If we can actually give this guy a little extra burnout so he can sustain himself longer. Now we're talking. Now you guys, I'm just going to be honest. I don't really know about you. Maybe we'll give our Shadow Eater the ability to do some actual damage. And our free relic... Deal two damage to the rear unit when a morsel is eaten. We don't have any extinguish abilities, so... Um, two damage to the rear unit when a morsel is eaten is not necessarily bad. But we're really just hanging in by the, the skin of our teeth right now. We don't have a problem with our units dying. We have two problems. Our units burning out and then doing enough damage to the enemies. Uh, to the bosses, really. Um, that's, that's the big one. So we learned a very valuable lesson. Lady of the Reformed has to come out there when you get her. Um, I do hate taking 12 damage immediately, but this is the floor where we want you. Um, and we're just going to have you do like a little super gorge. When you get your life steal, you're going you're gonna to be totally fine. Yeah. Yeah. And we did uh, 4 damage to the boss, so who's sweating it? Uh, we don't have our Shadow Gorger, which is actually fine because we have our draft which is even more important and our paraffin enforcer which is going to help us out a lot um you're probably going to make it to the pyre i think you're making it to the pyre i still think you're making it to the pyre <laughs> We need more capacity on this floor, so for now, I'm willing to just yeet a drag into uh, into existence up here, in the hopes that maybe we can stop our uh, we can stop that 93 damage unit up there, 93 HP unit up there. All right, one of you is not bad. You're done. You're not even close to done. Then that's that's our problem here. So we do love a shadow eater now. The time has finally come. Now he's not eating anything. But this is the floor setup we, we've been looking for. Now, we want you to have more capacity. Full stop. You do have an encant trigger, which is good to know. How much damage are you taking? 74, 89, 91. Um, we'll, we'll play this then. You'll, you'll still die. Um, we'll kill you and get our energy back. Feast does nothing for us. We need the lady to have endless. The lady desires endless, okay? It has to happen. Now, there's no space for our draft up here yet, which is a problem because this is our super draft. Um, but we'll get there. It's going to take us longer than I'd like to. I mean, it's not like this draft is uh, is amazing as well. Oh, you're burnout too. I could actually. It's possible I might be able to keep you alive a little longer. I actually, I, I think I'm going to try something insane for now because we need a target for molded in the future anyway. This way, at least we're going to chunk you guys down a little faster and let's uh i know it seems wild but let's bring back a morsel miner and actually start doing some damage to these guys damage shield one okay okay it's all about our second floor though the second floor is what it's all about up here um so sh her dying is terrible. Just just terrible news. But she's going to die no matter what. You're going to burn out? I don't think so. I choose I choose to disagree. She is still going to die, but she has endless, so I'm not sweating it. You should not burn out here. Cuz you get hit once. Which gives burnout to the drag at the back. Unless you die before the revenge is triggered, but that honestly makes no sense. So I disbelieve it. 
How are you doing? You're living, but I, I'm just gonna be honest. I don't really care if you die. <laughs> I think our champion getting the morsels is is more valuable. I, I'm starting to think this shadow gorger. I just I don't understand it. All right. So I mean, this the lady of the reform has to come back. Uh, I would love to do six damage to you. We need more capacity on this floor. That's undisputable. We love to wretch. We love to wretch. And the ducka and the ducka and the ducka. Get one of these up here. Now, mine collapse comes out. We're living, which is surprising, to say the least. Um, Morsel Miner up at the top does a lot for us. You still got one up here. Damage shield one does a lot for us. You're going to hit our pyre once. For 20? Oh my god. Um, but our Shadow Eater has finally made it back. We'll get some extra energy next turn. Alright, we need molded so we can bring our drafts back. We did not get molded. We probably have a couple of turns. You're only doing six. I can live with that. I don't like it, but I can live with it. You guys are doing nothing. Nothing at all. This only does 12 damage. It, it won't quite get you into killable range. So, it's always a tough choice. Honestly, I think we'd rather just do that. This is going to be tight. This bottom floor has no reason to exist. Um, which one of you is super? 42, 35, 255, 50. Uh, okay, so you are our more valuable draft. I really think we'd rather have you feast. And I think for sure we'd rather you actually take damage on the six here so that we get our damage shield to work in the future on the boss. That was a good situation in which to not feast. I believe. I believe that's true. Okay, so we're only doing 279 on this floor, which is really, really bad. Um... I think we probably just lost. So, it, as strange as it may seem, <laughs> I really think our play is you just go heavy on the on the top floor here, and we'll see how she goes. We could have maybe gotten one more burnout. We're only doing 306, which is not where you want to be. Um, but I knew that, okay, now we're doing 622, I knew that was coming. And then you look for the good ones, right? Well, this is the best one. 629. Uh, okay, hear me out here. Trash. Trash. 746. Then we need, maybe, you're going to burn out. No, you're not going to burn out. 43, it's not going to move the needle too much. Extra energy doesn't move the needle. Might as well give you extra damage. Sorry, I didn't really puzzle out what I was doing here, but... An attempt was made, okay? we I really gave this one my all. I think we we mostly lost this one by having a truly horrible bottom floor. Um, I'm not too disappointed. I think we, we can diagnose our own problem there. Um, but for now, thanks for watching. I thought it was a reasonably good attempt regardless. If you enjoyed it, please do click the like button. Helps me out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. Monster Train's going strong. And we'll see you next time. See ya!